in Afghanistan has been in a state of war for many decades, you know, a war that has left really little evidence of justice, humanity and peace for its people. You know, even now, as you can see, the country is torn into pieces and the Taliban is all over the country. Um, just in the past few days, we've seen and we've been hearing echoes of cries, you know. We've been hearing screams of asking for support and help. These sounds are actually quite familiar to myself because I experienced it myself. I witnessed it myself. That's the reason that pushed me and my family to leave the country with any means possible and get on a fishy, lucky boat and come to Australia. Um, right now, things are getting much, much worse than before. So, you know, we are particularly concerned um, for the safety of women and girls and other human rights defenders in Afghanistan. It is the worst security situation ever for them. And a lot of them are finding themselves already prisoners of their own gender. A lot of them are already describing to us that they're no longer having access to education. They're no longer having access to employment. They no longer is able to actually get out of their own homes without being accompanied by a male. <laughs> We've been hearing of the brutal killings that's happening right now, you know, in the streets. The biggest challenge with that is that those that are trying to escape this violence are actually coming across closed borders. Australia can do so much more. We need to do everything we can possibly in coming days to evacuate people who are at grave risks. You know, we are urging the Australian government um, to expand its resettlement efforts from Afghanistan to include women and children at risk. We've seen, you know, horrifying and, and dreadful images um, of Afghanistan, you know, and, and what is sometimes, you know, making me think is that we, we've never had been able to make a decision which is really on the, the best interest of the nation only. All the decisions that have been made so far and up to now has always been based by some sort of relation to, to the outside of Afghanistan and the safety and the security of people has always been the last concentration in any, you know, decision making. And what else can actually happen in Afghanistan for our government? in Australia to actually understand the kind of situation and the kind of circumstances and the kind of desperation that people are in right now.